Thank you, Jonathan, and thank you for doing that, because they most certainly deserve that, yes. You guys have worked so incredibly hard. So here it is, here is the award. You guys nervous or what? Yeah. yeah. Um, five finalist teams, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and um, we're gonna announce number three, two, and one, but not before I share something with you. Because a very long time ago, in fact, a few hundred years ago, there was a guy called Adam Smith. And for those of you that have done any form of university or education in the sense of business economics, economics, or even philosophy, you probably know who he is. Every professor or lecturer that teaches this has his books on the shelf. He was considered to be, and still is considered to be, the father of modern economics. And I'm not gonna do a whole lecture on him, don't worry, but there is a guiding principle that he believed in, and that is the best result will come if you do what's best for yourself. And that led to a free economy, competition, stuff that we actually still apply in today's economics. But then a few hundred years later, we had this guy, John Nash. And you may actually know him too, because he was the inventor of something called game theory, or prisoner's dilemma, that may ring a bell. And that's very interesting, because he won a Nobel Prize on that. And again, there's so much to tell, tell you about this. If you're interested in that, there's a movie made of this, A Beautiful Mind, that won many Oscars. Super interesting. But you all need to get up for breakfast tomorrow morning, so I'll keep it short. His guiding principle is different than that of Adam Smith. He said the best result will come if we do what's best for ourselves and the group. And I strongly believe that when it comes to the topic of sustainability, that is the only way forward. We cannot just keep competing if we do not collaboratively work together. And I'm so proud and grateful that when it comes to this challenge, that is exactly what we experienced. That's what we experienced with all the industry leaders, all the partners that we have, from Jonathan to the Sustainable Hospitality Alliance, Neom, and all the brands. In fact, it's even so that there's so much energy and so much excitement around this new generation that has this ambition around sustainability that everybody feels a common call. In fact, I've never even experienced any resistance from any brand not wanting to participate in that. And I'm also very happy that I was never put in a difficult situation whereby one brand wanted to be on top of another, or on top of the slide. That's a strong sense of common goal. So let me tell you a little bit of the background as to where this started last year, or actually this year. This edition, we had 45 universities, 45 hotel schools participating that went through qualifying rounds. And from, those, from that number, 20 of them were invited to Amsterdam, and we had a total of 18 jury members in a four-day event with a difficult task to bring it down to five. And these five are here today, and they pitched yesterday, and it was truly, truly exciting. And I'm convinced that some of these concepts, some of these innovations are viable for business. And when I say viable for business, it is our goal that that will also lead to a permanent change in our industry, a lasting, sustainable change. The jury members here on screen, I want to once again take the time to thank. Hytham was here on stage just now, and many others, because they had to read through all the investors' decks, which is a lot of work, and spend a valuable time being in the jury yesterday. So once again, thank you so much for that. And besides these jury members, we have a few others that would like to say something. Good afternoon, my name is Craig Smith and I'm excited to be with you here today. I'm the group president for Merit International, 
and I'm speaking to you from Marriott's headquarters in Washington, D.C. Uh, it's great to be here. It's great to be part of the challenge that's been formed by the Hotel School in The Hague. We are big believers in sustainability. Many people think that sustainability is mutually exclusive, so it's separated from hospitality. It isn't. It is intermingled today, and we as a company support it. We believe in it. We're building more sustainable hotels, and we're looking forward to some ideas that we can have become realities for us from all of you. So let's get those great minds together, and let's see what you come up with, and we want to be part of it. And give it to us, and not the competition, please, because we're the ones that are going to be way ahead. Thank you very much. Hello from Brussels to the Future Hospitality Summit. First of all, let me welcome you and also congratulate the finalists of the Sustainability Hospitality Challenge that, as you know, was founded by Hotel School de Hague. If you are here at this stage, it's because you both care and dare about sustainability. And let me say that at Radisson, we believe actually the change is possible. We share with you as members of this challenge some critical beliefs. First, we believe nothing is impossible. Second, we believe the enemy is complacency if we want to change. We also have the belief that you need to have fun in all you do. And I'm sure these beliefs have been with you since you started and joined this challenge and that they will be with you as you make progress. It really doesn't matter if you win or not. What is critical is that you have experienced memorable moments and that you will be able to create a legacy for the hospitality as a community and for yourselves as members of this challenge. We wish you the best of luck in these finals. And also we wish that you will stay with us in this big change that is for us and all of us to make sure that our future in hospitality is a sustainable one. Thank you. All right, let's get started, Willie, because these students are going to look at me like, you're so annoying, we want to know. So let's welcome on stage two of the biggest ambassadors of this challenge and jury members, Marloes Knippenberg and Wolfgang Neumann. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> yeah, hello. <laughs> um, Marloes, quick question for you, because you were also a jury member in Amsterdam, and of course you've been involved these last couple of years. Um, why do you like to be part of this journey? Um, one of the key things is the, the, the innovation, the ideas, and everything that's coming out of it, it goes so far beyond a box, or so far beyond anything that we can think of. Um, it's inspirational, it's deserved to be seen, um, and a lot of us pay for research and development, and it's always within that same framework. Looking at the ideas the students come up with, it's so far ahead that it's just fantastic, except for the energy um, that obviously we love. Thank you so much. And what, what kind of last piece of advice would you give to the students here that have participated? Make sure you talk to anybody in this room. When you walk out of here, just say hi to, you have investors, you have big operators, you have the people of the industry here, so make sure you make use of it. Thank you, Malus. Great advice. And there's one more day to go, right, guys? So you've got plenty of time. Um, Wolfgang, you've been part of this challenge from day one, which is so unique, fantastic. Um, you're also the chair of the Sustainable Hospitality Alliance. Um, how do you feel the vision of the challenge is aligned with some of the initiatives that you have done with the Alliance? Well, look, the Alliance represents today about 40% of the Global Hospitality Alliance. We want to make an impact for the planet and people. And when we want to make an impact for planet and people, it takes, takes, about, it takes committed people. And I think the challenge is all about committed people. And, and I think that's where the fusion is between the challenge and the alliance, we want to make a difference, and I think it's through the inspiration of the young people that we really get the energy to do it differently, to make a difference, and to inspire leaders, which we have here in the room, to really do it and not just talk about it. Ah, thank you very much. Super. Perfect. So, ready for third prize, right, Malus? Absolutely. Are you ready for that? Are you ready? I'm going to give you the envelope. Drum roll. 
<clears throat> Thank you. Mm. Ooh. So with the change and leading change, um, to keep people up to date and keep everything relevant, it's all about the people. So by now I've given it away, right? There's one concept that was all about the people, community, revolutionizing the education system and making it up to date and relevant. Hotel School The Hague. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. As an alumnus and an employee myself, very proud. Congratulations. All right, second place. Wolfgang, you ready? Envelope, please. <laughs> there it is. Thank you, Paul. What we didn't say is it was a real tough jury deliberation yesterday because all of these were amazing. And number two. It took about 45 minutes, this jury deliberation. Is, hmm, this is interesting because you might remember one of the teams yesterday was rather humble in the way how they pitched for investment. It was a relative small amount they actually wanted because they wanted really to take the time to develop it. Hint? And it's round. Ah, now I gave it away. Swiss Hotel Management School, congratulations. Thank you very much, Marlouz and Wolfgang. We'll call you back on stage in just a second. Um, just one second. Uh, yeah, no, thanks. So, ladies, the hamster is alive, right? Yes. A very active Instagram uh, happening. So, congratulations. Um, before we move to the winner of today, um, another few words from some people. Collaboration and partnerships are key to help shape the future of responsible travel. This challenge is a step towards greater collaboration between our industry and younger generations. Congratulations to the winners of this year's challenge. And I hope that you all continue to help us solve for many environmental and societal challenges that our industry faces in the years to come. Congratulations to all the students participating in the Sustainable Hospitality Challenge. Your hard work and commitment is creating real change in this incredible industry of ours, and it's a real inspiration to me. You all are the future leaders of travel and tourism around the world, and we are counting on you to build a more sustainable future for the people and the communities we serve. Thank you, and congratulations again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and right now we're ready for prize number one, and uh, that's going to be handed out by three lovely people that we've been working with for the last year, Colin, Abdul Halim, and Asil. <laughs> Colin, it sounds like you have some fans over there. Uh, sounded like you had some fans over there. I have a few fans, I hope so. Colin, Asil, Abdul, I just wanted to take a minute to thank you, to thank Neom for our great partnership, because let's face it, we wouldn't be here without their support. What you guys are doing out there is unbelievable. Uh, this futuristic city, if you don't know about it, I don't know where you've been, but there is a huge stand here as well that showcases it, something that has never been done before with a high level of innovation and sustainability. So thank you very much for your incredible support. And uh, yeah, Colin, the floor is yours. Paul, thank you very much. Um, Paul started this session by asking the students to stand up. Could I ask their tutors to stand up?
So I, I get what the students get out of this. I mean, this is fantastic for the students. Stand up, stand up, Brad. Stay on your feet. The often unsung heroes who put in time, effort, blood, sweat, tears. Paul and Stella, can you come and stand up as well? The, I, I just can't tell you the impact you have had on the lives and the careers of the young students in this room today is absolutely astonishing. Thank you so much. Really. What an amazing challenge. As, as Neon, we are so, so proud to be part of this. We are committed to this. Paul, Stella, we thank you for this. We will continue working with you. There are only winners in this. And, and sadly, only one team has won. But this is a, a competition which will grow. Regina, where is Regina? Regina, president of Hotel School The Hague. Thank you for driving this. Thank you for supporting. It, we get our satisfaction out of seeing young people grow and develop, and it's just so special. So, young people growing and develop. Let me introduce Asil and Abdul Halim, who are two young Saudi colleagues from NEOM. I think it's only appropriate that they award the first prize. So, over to you guys. Thank you so much, Colin. We're so excited to know who is the winner for this. I just want to say something to all students uh, and the audience here. I asked Colin this morning to know who's the winner, and he refused to tell me. Yeah. So, so I have no idea about the winner. OK, so can I have it first? And I'm sure we can announce it from here. Okay, Halim, can you hold the envelope, please? And I'm so nervous as well, and so excited. OK, so the winner for this year is, oh, there is no name here. There is no name. There is no name. Halim, you need to open the envelope, please. Oh, OK. <laughs> so let me also tell you what the prize is. So the winning team, we are going to fly you to Neon. You're going to come and have a look at the geography of Neon. You're going to meet the whole of the hotel development team. We're also going to introduce you to the sectors most relevant to helping you develop your idea and hopefully bringing it into reality in the OM. So there's an amazing prize. All right. So are you excited? Just a second. Let me Just a second. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. So the first place and the winner is is an idea that we have never been, it's never been done before. It's crazy. So, so you ready? Yes. Let's count for one. Do you want to know who's the winner? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So let's count together. Okay. From one to three, please. Or from three to one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Three, three, two, one. The winner is Cornell University! Woo! Congratulations. Congratulations, guys. Well deserved. Thank you so Thank much. You so Thank much. You so everything. happy for you. Congratulations. Congratulations, man. So happy for you. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. Thank you so much.
One last round of applause, a huge one for the winners.